Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Monday. The weekend is over, the fun is done, and it is time to get back to the grind. As you notice, I am not at home, which is unusual for me on a Monday. That is because I am actually headed to the dentist uh, to have a final cleaning of the year completed, and then I will be done for this year, and I won't have to go back for a while. I absolutely hate cleanings. Uh, I like the feeling that I have after the fact, uh, but I absolutely hate cleanings. I do not like them at all. I don't like, they, to me, for some reason, they hurt. Uh, I don't like them. I think it's because they get up in there with those hooks and those water tools, and they just start jabbing around, and they just don't feel very good, and I don't like it very much, but it's part of the routine. It's good to have done, so off to the dentist I go to get my teeth cleaned, and then go home and finish up the day for work. Also, I'm doing some Christmas shopping online this morning. Uh, I've already done a little. I am trying to get everything put together as this weekend was a bit of a bust when it came to purchasing things. Um, but there's always Amazon and other outlets that will deliver, which saves me time, money, and effort. Uh, as you know, I live out in the middle of nowhere and Getting anywhere is time consuming, even to shop. For myself, for example, it takes me about 35 minutes or so to get to the dentist. Uh, to get to Walmart, it's about 30. So it takes me about five or six more minutes to get to the dentist than it would to go to Walmart uh, or the grocery store. So that gives you an idea of that. So I'm gonna head on in here, get my teeth cleaned, and I will see you guys shortly. Hey y'all, Monday's here. Back to the grind, back to the daily function that is life. Uh, had a great weekend, did not shop as much as I needed to, but luckily I have Amazon. It's a place you may have heard of before. Um, Amazon is really good about getting you items uh, so you don't have to go to those places. But, uh, I don't know. I'm terrible at Christmas shopping to be honest. Um, I used to know exactly what to get for everybody, and that was years ago, and now they're all grown up, so um, both of my nieces, they're not going to want toys, and you know, so I can't really do things like that anymore, and my mom and dad don't need toys, although my dad is going to get a toy of sorts, uh, because he broke the one I bought him before, but really everybody else is going to get things that they probably really didn't need in the first place. Um, and that's just how it goes. Uh, I also have to get ready. I have to go to, um, shoot, probably tonight, uh, to go to the store, uh, the actual physical store, because I only have a couple of days before I have to go be a part of a wedding. That's right. I'm going to be in a wedding. Well, not in a wedding. I'm going to be at a wedding. Uh, next Thursday, my oldest niece is getting married, and I am going to be at the wedding. I'm going to be taking her pictures, which I didn't really want to do, but I'm going to do for her, even though I didn't want to do it. Um, so I'm going to be at the wedding, and she wants us to wear suits. I'm not wearing a suit. Uh, if I'm taking your pictures, you're lucky I'm going to be there in something other than jeans and a t-shirt, because... Rolling around on the ground in a suit is not my idea of a fun time. So I will be purchasing a suit jacket uh, to wear with some slacks uh, while I'm there. Maybe a shirt and a tie because I got to look decent and it's a Christmas themed wedding. Uh, so I've got that next week and I've got this one rogue hair. That's why I keep playing with my hair because it keeps tickling. I also need to get a haircut. Um... Because I have not fixed my hair. You guys have not seen me fix my hair in a while. And that is because I don't do it. I don't go anywhere. And I really need to fix it. It's really long. Uh, that's the top. But the sides, I'm squinting for some reason. The sides are really long. Um, and yeah, that's why I wear a hat all the time. And it is a mess up on top of my head. Uh, but I have got to get a haircut and get myself ready for this wedding. Um, because I really do have to be kind of presentable, I guess. But, that being said, that'll probably be my plans for this evening, if I can get in, is to get a haircut and see if I'm about finding a suit jacket. 
uh, because I've got to find one before next week. Uh, if not, I might do it this weekend just because, but I really don't want to do all that. But for her, I will. For her, I will do it. So that's that. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of Pin Mail Monday today, I think. Uh, I didn't do Pin Mail Monday last week uh, because I ran out of time and I had a lot going on. I have a little extra free time this afternoon, uh, and I may actually go ahead and show you guys some pins. I hope you enjoyed some of the videos from the weekend. Uh, Saturday, I laughed, and we had such a good time Saturday. Sunday, uh, a lot of the video is cut short because of all the music that plays for those lights. So I did not put a lot of that in here. Uh, because of, you know, copyright reasons, you know, whatever. But uh, I did put some clippage in there so you can see it. It was, those lights are on point when it comes to the dancing lights. Compared to the ones that I went to a couple weeks ago, these were perfect. Uh, the music they hit, like clockwork, was amazing. Uh, I may post some of the videos on social media uh, where I can kind of get away with a little more music on the, on the video. But it was a awesome, awesome production, as it is every year. Uh, I try to go to that one at least once a year, uh, even though it's a little bit out of the way, just because it is so good. Uh, and I do love Christmas lights. So that's that. That's Monday. I've been working. I went to the dentist. Um, that was just a cleaning service and a follow-up. Uh, I do have to go back in January. Uh, they want to do some further examinations. Basically, what I'm trying to do is get everything in my face correct. Uh, I want it to all be correct and no problems. So I don't have to deal with a lot of dental problems as I get older. Nobody likes going to the dentist. I'm one of those people that don't really like going to the dentist. But I finally found a dentist I really, really like. And I'm going to keep going and hopefully get everything that needs to be fixed, fixed. I don't really have any major cavities or anything like that. Um, I do have a couple of forming cavities, is what they were called. Uh, and they're basically possible cavities that are somewhere buried up in this region. And uh, they want to go ahead and address them before they get too far off. So starting in January, February, somewhere in there, I'll be going to the dentist again to get everything kind of started. Uh, it's going to be expensive and it's going to be a long road, but... For the rest of my life, I'll probably have no problems, so that's a bonus. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pull out some pins and show you some of the things that I got. All right, as mentioned, today is Pin Mail Monday. Now, keep in mind, a lot of these pins that I'm going to show you are uh, rack pins, uh, open edition pins like these two, uh, just to kind of give you an idea of some of the ones that I picked up while at Disney. Uh, back at the end of October, 1st of November. Uh, the first two that I've got pulled up here, I got them strictly just because it was my first visit to Pandora. Uh, and I really wanted to kind of take a look at this. Also, apologize for the horrible lighting. Uh, I'm trying to do the best I can. I have left my tripod somewhere. Don't know where it is right off the top. And uh, so I'm doing this the best I can for you. Uh, but these two are the two open edition pins. There were several different ones, but these were my two favorite. Uh, the first one is the Conservation uh, Initiative uh, pin with the little logo there. Uh, the other one is also the World of Avatar uh, at Disney's Animal Kingdom pin. Uh, two regular rack pins, uh, but I quite liked them. Um, let me see if I can get my, get my hand under here. There we go. So there's the first one. I like the colors on this one. Uh, it looks quite nice. I also realized that I'm holding this sideways. Uh, so let me uh, rotate. Uh, so there you go. There's a better shot of it with some light on it. I quite like this one. It's very pretty with the banshees and uh, all that going on. The other one, again, they are both just kind of generic rack pins. Uh, but I quite liked it. It kind of stood out to me as something a little more special. So moving on, and I basically just opened a bag of pins that I had. Uh, the next one up is the Jingle Cruise 2017 pin. Uh, it is really cute. I like the uh, rhino there with the fruitcake on his horn and all the Christmassy stuff. I don't have a lot of Christmas pins. Uh, I like Christmas as whole, but I don't have a lot of Christmas pins. And so this, I think, is actually my first Christmas pin. Uh, I think everything else is Halloween pins. Uh, but I quite liked this one. I thought it was really cute. Uh, and I quite liked it. Also, I, this one is a, I don't know if you can see it at the bottom, a limited edition. Uh, it's not a limited number, but it is limited for this year for that particular time. 
and it is really cute. Also, the rhino part is, um, I don't know if you can tell it or not, it actually sticks out, so it's kind of like a rubbery um, element that sticks out on top of the pin, which is kind of fun, and I quite liked that one as well. Uh, the next two are just kind of generic. Uh, I collect these every time I stay at a different resort, uh, so I stayed at Animal Kingdom Lodge, and uh, that is the Animal Kingdom Lodge pin. Again, just a standard rack pin, but I stayed at that resort, so I wanted a pin for it. I have a pin for every resort that I've stayed in, uh, for Port Orleans, French Quarter, and Riverside. Uh, this one, um, and I also have two other ones for, uh, I have stayed at Pop Century a few times, and I also have uh, one for the Caribbean Beach Club as well. Uh, I quite liked this show. The guest next to me didn't think so, but Rivers of Light rack pin. Uh, I really love Rivers of Light. The show was pretty awesome. Even though the fire effects didn't work while I was there, uh, I really liked the show overall. Uh, and I love the music to it. Uh, the pin itself is kind of like a stained glass uh, look. And you can actually see, it's kind of hard to tell. Uh, but if you look carefully, you see the animals, like the owl and the turtle, but you'll see the, see the elephant. It looks like a tiger tail uh, in that uh, stained glass piece as well. So really, really cool pin overall. Uh, and the next two I may have shown already. I don't remember. Uh, I, I show a lot of pins. So these were newer to me Haunted Mansion pins. And as you guys know, if you watch for any length of time, I love Haunted Mansion. Uh, so the first one is the Haunted Mansion bat there with the wallpaper on it. I really, really like this one. Uh, I thought it was super awesome when I got it and I had to get it. It again is a rack pin. I don't believe these are limited of any kind um, that I recall, but I do really, really like this one. I like the bat. Uh, the other one I got, uh, which doesn't really pertain to Disney World, so I'm not sure how or why they sneak these in, but I got it anyway. Uh, but this one is the Hatbox Ghost, it says Haunted Mansion there. This one, of course, is a little bit on the 3D side, uh, and it's quite heavy. It's kind of that pewter color, and I really, really like this one. Uh, even though I've not been to Disneyland, uh, the Hatbox Ghost has always kind of intrigued me. Uh, so part of the reason why I had to have this one was because of that creepy, creepy face of his. I think it will haunt you in your sleep. All right, the next ones I'm going to show you are actually limited edition. Uh, I don't remember the limited edition number on them, so I'm going to take one off real quick and look at it while I'm talking to you. Uh, these were originally released at D23, and they were um, either sold individually or sold as a set. Uh, and I wanted to get the set, uh, but I did not get a hold of the set. Uh, but this one I did. They are a limited edition of 3,750 each, uh, minus the one in the set has the chaser or completer, uh, and I don't know what the edition is on that, but these are the Oswald Lucky Rabbit pins, and I'll bring that down here so you can see it now. Limited edition. I really liked these pins a lot when I saw them. Uh, it does have a little pin on pin with that glass uh, back there, so it's see-through, and you can see, uh, I believe her name is Hortensia, uh, back there hanging out. Uh, with the lucky rabbit and some music notes and a bicycle. Uh, so each one of these commemorates uh, Oswald himself. I'm going to lay that one right there and I'll bring out the next one. There are four that were on the rack. Uh, the next one is of Oswald there. Looks like you've got a little bit of a frame of one of his movies in the background as well. Oswald is such a cute and unique character. Uh, one that is uh, definitely earned a spot with my heart for sure. Uh, the next one is actually of Oswald. But it's also got um, Hortensia in as well. I keep, I keep saying her name is Hortensia. I'm pretty sure that's it. I don't remember, to be honest, uh, because I really just liked Oswald. But that's his girlfriend there, uh, and Oswald. And it says lucky number one. And Oswald was, if you do know much about the Disney history, uh, he was one of the first big characters that Walt created before Mickey and ended up getting sold off to Univer what ended up being universal. This is the fourth one in the set here. Uh, again, limited edition. And it has Oswald and her kissing. Uh, the movie reels there. And Oswald. Give him the thumbs up. He's such a cool guy, right? So there is the four pins that were in that set. Now, there was a fifth pin. 
uh, that you could have gotten in the collector's limited release edition uh, or limited edition uh, set. Um, I don't remember which one it was directly, but there was an additional pin that went with it. Uh, and the set actually came in a movie tin like those there. Uh, and each one of those holes actually featured, I forget this is sideways, uh, one of those holes featured a um, pin in each hole, uh, so it looked like a movie reel, and I really, really liked it, uh, but I did not see any uh, available, and I did not have the opportunity to get any uh, while prior to D23. I did manage to get a few D23 pins um, that were released while at D23. I think I've shown some of those in some of the older videos, uh, but these were a part of that. Now, keep in mind, I believe these also were pins that they had planned on releasing into the parks as well. Uh, so these weren't specific to D23, uh, but that's where they made their first premiere. So those are my pins for Pin Mail Monday. Some of them you may have seen before if you look back at some of the old videos, uh, but there's quite a few here, and I'm dropping some of them in the floor. I'm just gonna stack them all back up here. So when, if you're looking at all these pins, comment down below, which one is your favorite? Which one did you like the most? Which one would you like to have? Because pins are always good to have around, right? Especially if you're a collector. So let me down, let, know down below which one is your favorite. And there you have it, guys. That's Pin Mail Monday. Um, I really like these pins. I really do enjoy having them. Uh, I can't wait to frame them. I, I really would like to get the entire set with the... Um, the the chaser completer even the whole set box as i drop it the whole box set uh for these because they are really really cute and oswald i'm looking at oswald he's super cute also it's a great one uh i quite like them again the pandora pins will probably go in my uh standard pin board uh which is just the board that has no sets it's just a board to keep things not a trader like the ones behind me uh, but more so for specific keeps, Rivers of Light. If you have not seen Rivers of Light, make sure you go back through my Disney videos. They were the end of October. I don't remember which video it was. Uh, I'll try to put a link um, somewhere right up in here uh, to that video. Uh, that does have some bits of the River of Light. I did not, again, post any entire uh, performance because of music reasons. Uh, so I don't want to get tagged for that. But uh, it was it was a really good show. Uh, I really did expect the fire element, but again, it was really windy that night. Uh, and so, understandable that they probably were not going to shoot fire into the air on a very windy evening. But, uh, yeah, I do love my pins, that's for sure. Uh, and I quite like these Haunted Mansion ones. I would almost put this one on my backpack or on a bag. But, unfortunately, I will probably lose it. Uh, in that case, uh, I, I know what you're thinking. If you're a pin person, you're like, get the locking pin backs. Well, I have locking pin backs, but they always fall off uh, after a while. Um, I have a pin, uh, Maleficent, uh, the Steampunk Maleficent pin uh, in my car around the Ruby Mirror, and it had a pin lock on it uh, to keep it in its place, and it eventually fell off. No clue where that pin back went to. Uh, but I still have the pen, the steampunk pen, which it looks, it, it's called the Maleficent steampunk pen, if I remember correctly, but I, I really just call it the Festival of Fantasy Malefic Maleficent, because it looks identical to that one, uh, and I'm, I know, understand, that's the style that they went with for that particular thing with steampunk, uh, but uh, lots of fun, so, and I, Jungle Cruise, I, well, this is actually Jingle Cruise on the thing, I was kind of wrong, sorry, space is limited here, so I'm having to wedge over, um, Jingle Cruise. I really, really, really like this pin. I think it's super cute. I love the Jungle Cruise. Uh, if you guys didn't know, I think I did a video a long time ago uh, when I built my office at home, uh, which is where I'm at right now. Uh, the desk I actually built uh, with the help of Joe and uh, because I could not find a desk I liked. And so I, when I built this desk, I actually built it and themed it around the Jungle Cruise. Uh, so this desk actually has some secrets hidden in it um, that I have themed around it. Uh, there's rope on it. Uh, it's got crates that are holding it up uh, in spots under the front. I have posts uh, with rope on it so it looks like a boat dock. Um, the wood is all weathered and aged. And uh, some of the crates have little hidden messages on it. Uh, one of them says Trader Sam's... Uh, uh, 
I think it's delivered to Trader Sam's. It just says Trader Sam's. I can see it from here. Uh, the other one is the Jungle Navigation Expedition uh, Care of. And uh, there's the skipper name on one or two. Uh, so definitely cool. It's definitely fun uh, to have. It's a talking piece. Most people that come in that know me or don't know me very well, I should say, or people that come to visit uh, that are not Disney people, they have no idea. They're like, what is that? Uh, why do you have rope hanging on your, your desk? It's because it's Jungle Cruise themed. So, well, I am looking at the time. It is 5 o'clock in the afternoon. The night sky is upon us. And I've got to get myself together to get to town and get groceries. I've already made my grocery list. So, I guess it's time for me to go ahead and end Monday. And get on with the rest of my evening. And you should as well. So, I guess I will see you guys on the other side. You know what that means. Till tomorrow.